What is up guys, I am the Twisted Jedi and welcome back to another video. Today we get our first look at the Starfighter Assault trailer released at Gamescom 2017. Now starting off in the trailer we do get a first look at Kamino which is really really awesome. We see some phase 1 clone troopers moving around LAATs and Obi-Wan Kenobi's A-Wing. Now if you haven't watched my recent video, the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie has been confirmed and be sure to check it out after this. But just for now we do have a still shot and some concept art from the game showing Obi-Wan Kenobi's A-Wing. Now we don't know if Obi-Wan will be a playable character, but he may well be playable on the Kamino map in the space battles. The next thing we see is Yoda chasing Darth Maul in his ETA-2 fighter, as seen in the Clone Wars series. As you can see, it has hexagonal panels at the end of its wings, and it has a compact sphere-shaped cockpit with his personal crest, which adorns the wings on the Starfighter, as you can see hints of green there. We also get a look at Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator, which is very, very cool, and we do see it do some kind of ninja stealth invisibility ability trick now this is awesome and we think it's going to be one of the special abilities for his ship and we do know that they are going to be in classes so they will be completely customizable and even the hero ships will come with customization options so this stealth invisibility whatever it is it is really really cool and we can't wait to use that i think it'll give a huge advantage to anyone playing as darth maul in the hero ship and it can be deadly next up we see the republic y-wings making their way into the shot as well as what looks like an arc 170 in terms of the y-wing it would be interesting to see if they have a pilot and a gunner as y-wings are generally used for bomber runs however they do have a gunner slot available also spotted in the trailer is the cis vulture droid as well as something very very cool and you would have missed it if you didn't look closely but there is a droid tri fighter now fighters will be separated into classes with different roles and abilities for each which could affect the fighter handling and weapon capabilities so there is going to be a lot of customization options available and different classes so some may be quicker some may be slower but some may be more defensive and some may be more offensive. Now in terms of the new era highlighted in this clip is the Resurgence class Star Destroyer which is massive and from what we can see in the trailer it looks like we will be able to maneuver in and out of the Star Destroyer which is insanely cool and it takes for a lot of skill getting in and out of those. It's a bit similar to the Death Star DLC in the first battlefront and it does take some skill to fly in and out of the Death Star and it'll be exactly the same with this destroyer. In terms of the first DLC we do know that Finn and Captain Phasma will be available at this time and there are rumors of a possible crate map from episode 8 the last jedi which would be crazy we did see in the trailer the video of these small fighters streaking across a field and ripping up all this red dust as they head towards a bunch of new era 8080s so it would be insanely cool to see something like that in the new dlc we also see here for a brief second kylo ren's new tie silencer which will be a hero ship as well and most likely the special ship that has been teased as a pre-order bonus and it looks very very cool and i'm sure it will be very powerful and very quick. With a name like TIE Silencer, we do know it is going to be stealthy in some kind of way. Maybe not Darth Maul invisibility stealthy, but it will be very cool regardless. Next up in the clip, we do see a black and red X-Wing, which means, that's right, Poe Dameron will be a part of these space battles as another hero ship. And in the beginning of the trailer, if you didn't hear it, we actually hear another pilot say, right behind you, Poe. Right behind you, Poe confirming he is a part of the Starfighter Assault, which is really, really cool because we don't see Poe much in The Force Awakens. However, we do know he is a Resistance pilot and a damn good one at that. Moving on to the original trilogy, we jump to the Fondor shipyards where we see the Millennium Falcon and Boba Fett Slave 1, also confirmed as hero ships for the new game, and it will be very similar, I assume, in their capabilities to the first game. However, with the customizability, we don't know what exactly will be customizable, and hopefully there's some new stuff in there for us. Now, one last thing we do here to Towards the end of the trailer is a short conversation between a male and female pilot and rumors are swelling that this could possibly be Anakin and Ahsoka. Now, nothing is confirmed, but personally, I think it would be very cool to bring Ahsoka into the game as the Clone Wars series doesn't get enough recognition and Ahsoka is definitely a fan favorite. As always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. If there's anything you want to see in future videos, leave it down in the comments, and I will get back to you and hopefully get those videos out for you. I am the Twisted Jedi, and I'm going to leave it here. Thanks so much for watching, and may the Force be with you.